Hello everyone, back to the game to today's first video. We're having a look at the ECMDF 30 day uh, model for today's first video. So this can take us uh, through the next four weeks with the temperature and precipitation anomalies from the ECMDF uh, 30 day model. Um, and uh, we're going to look at weather for the UK and the rest of Europe as well, taking us into the early part of November actually uh, today. So again, I'll have the US short. Just say that coming up later on this afternoon, we're going to have the regular week to 10 day video update, and that will of course include all of the usual features right at the hungarian met office uh for this one so big thank you to them for supplying the uh charts uh, we can't show you mean cinema pressure or 500 millibar heights with this but you get a rough idea from the temperature and precipitation anomalies of what model is forecasting so we're going to begin with the week one temperature anomaly. It's week 42 for this year, but it's week one for our forecast period, taking us from the 14th to the 20th of October. Most parts of Europe are looking quite warm in the week ahead with significantly above average temperatures, particularly the core of the warmth is over here in the far east northeast of uh, Europe, where the temperature anomaly is actually going between 6 and 10 degrees above average. More widely across many of the central and eastern parts of Europe, we're going up to 3 to 6 degrees above average, and more widely still. We're around one to three degrees above average, and that really stretches from France and uh, the south of Scandinavia here, right way over to the western southwest of Russia. Uh, there are exceptions. The extreme west of Europe is quite a bit cooler. So for the UK, for Ireland, just the extreme western tip of France, and down to Spain and Portugal, it is a bit cooler than average there, with temperatures around a degree or so below normal. I remember, and then in the very, very far north of Scandinavia, it's quite a lot colder up there too, going up in towards the Arctic Circle. We see temperature anomalies of around 3 to 6 degrees uh, below average. The Mediterranean in the weekend, well, quite cool in the west, obviously around Spain and Portugal, but elsewhere generally fairly warm, right way from the Balearic Islands in the uh, central bowl of Mediterranean over towards Greece and Turkey, warmer than average through all of those areas, and particularly so in that southeastern corner with temperature anomalies of 3 to 6 degrees above average. So not a bad week at all, temperature-wise, to be going down for a holiday in the Greek islands. And the same is true for precipitation as well. This southeast corner does look generally dry with precipitation anomalies in the week ahead. Drier than average, really from southern, from southern parts of Italy over the Adriatic into the Balkans and then down into southeast Europe and up to Black Sea. Dry than average through all of those areas. So a really nice week coming up if you want to have a, uh, a late summer or early autumn break to uh, the Greek islands. Going further north and west, though, it does look very unsettled. So this west and northwestern corner, much, much wetter than average in some of these areas, particularly across France, looking very wet there, into parts of the uh, UK, particularly southern England and for the Republic of Ireland as well. And then some parts of Scandinavia, Denmark, and going up to the south of Norway and Sweden, substantially above average rainfall through there. Spain and Portugal are looking a little bit drier than uh, average, certainly for, for those southern parts of Spain and Portugal anyway. I mean, in the very far north of Scandinavia, uh, it is a little bit drier than average, especially so for central and northern parts of Norway. But uh, we do see this northwest south east split definitely in uh, precipitation anomalies from the 14th to 20th of October. Then we go through to week two, which is week 43 for the year, but week two for our forecast period, taking us from the 21st to 27th of October. Uh, we see broadly the pattern is continuing, really. So many of these uh, central, western and eastern parts of Europe are warm and average. So it's really from uh, kind of Germany and below countries uh, eastward that temperature anomalies are substantially above average. And again, particularly so in this eastern and northeastern part of Europe and going up to west of Russia, Again, we see temperatures widely around 3 to 6 degrees above average. In the west, it looks rather cooler, although for Scotland, uh, for Ireland, the Republic of Ireland, it's actually going 
uh, a little bit warmer than average there, slightly above average, but for England and Wales, it's close to average. And then France, also close to average, with hints of Spain and Portugal being ever so slightly below average. This Western Bowl of Mediterranean also looks a little bit uh, closer to average this week. It's really from Italy eastwards over into the Eastern Med that the temperature anomalies are above average. So most parts of Europe are having quite a mild week this week, but it is a bit cooler in the West and particularly in the Southwest. Precipitation anomalies look like they're drying out across western parts of Europe uh, now. So for France, for the UK, uh, it is a little bit drier than average actually this week. And also for Spain and Portugal uh, as well. So we're losing the influence from the low pressure. Seemingly high pressure should be starting to take over. At the same time though, this central bowl of the Med is going very wet. So from the Balearic Islands over towards Italy... Uh, and also, of course, for Sardinia, for Malta. Very wet conditions indeed through this central part of the Mediterranean. Uh, further north, precipitation anomalies are close to average for Germany and for Poland. Also looking quite close to average as we get up towards Scandinavia as well. Eastern parts of Europe, again, generally, uh, gen generally forecast to be uh, rather drier than average through this week. Moving on to week three, which is week 44 for the year. Now the scene is beginning to get weaker, as it often does. We see that this southeastern uh, part of Europe is uh, forecast to be warmer than average. That's where the mild and average temperatures are receding into. Elsewhere, we have lots of white, which is either no signal or average. Um, I suspect because it's week three, uh, which does take us from the 28th of October to the 3rd of November, I suspect it's uh, more no signal, really, than average possibly hints of being a bit cooler than average close to the uk and to ireland uh, as well but otherwise it's not enough of a signal there i don't think to be able to draw any useful conclusions precipitation anomalies for week three um drive an average uh, around the uk and ireland and also going out into the atlantic that's a signal for some higher pressure there looks a bit wet and average through this central part of the med still so low pressure seemingly would be down here and again, otherwise, it's just not a great deal to go on. Lots of white showing up there, which really, again, is no signal. Uh, the model is losing the signal the further out we are going. But it does look as though we would probably have some high pressure around here to west of the UK, which would tend to favour winds coming in from the northwest, I suppose. So that's why it could be a bit cooler there. And then low pressure is probably uh, around here. And then moving on to uh, week four, finally, which is week 45 for the year. This one takes us from the 4th to the 10th of November. Again, there's not enough of a signal to be able to draw any useful conclusions. We do see, but close to Iceland, it is a little bit uh, warmer than average up there. And possibly hints at still being a little bit uh, warmer than average down in the southeastern part. So from southern parts of Italy around the Adriatic and then down towards Greece and then up towards the Black Sea. Possibly just hints of being ever so slightly uh, warmer than average through there. Portugal a bit cooler than average, but again, otherwise there's lots of white going on. So it's a case of no signal. We've gone to week four and model has lost its signal. Precipitation-wise, finally... Uh, so, again, really, really weak signals. It does look as though this far northwestern corner is a bit drier than average. So, there could be some high pressure around this sort of area, perhaps, which would favour pulling in winds from quite a coolish, sort of northerly type direction. So, it could be in to get a, quite a cold start to November, perhaps, for the northwest of Europe, including the UK. But, again, it's such a weak signal, but it is hard to draw many conclusions from that otherwise again it's just a case of no signal really until we reach this far southeast and corner where perhaps hints at being a little bit uh wetter than average so it is a bit of a mixed bag uh for the next four weeks obviously weeks three four haven't got much of a signal there the next couple of weeks we're starting off very unsettled in the north and the west of europe it looks like things will be drying out as we get through towards the end of october Quite cool as well in the north and west overall, I think, in this update, uh, with the warmest anomalies seemingly in the east and the northeast of Europe, particularly in weeks one and two. And then, of course, things are getting much weaker 
as we go through to weeks three and four. Right, so that's it for your first video today. It's just a snapshot of what the, uh, what model is showing today. It could all look very different next week. But that's it for this week. Uh, we'll do it all over again uh, next week. We'll be back later on today with your week 10-day uh, video update. So come back for that then. We had quite an interesting GFS run this morning. Here to get perhaps something rather colder uh, by the end of October. So I'll talk about that in today's uh, second video update. Well, that's all for now, though. Uh, and thanks for watching.